Sayed Kazem Sajadpur, welcome to One on One. Why does so much of the outside world, especially the Western world, have such a negative opinion, a negative view of Iran? I think uh, in West you have a diversity of uh, centers, people, trends, institutions, uh, and some of them are not negative about Iran. Some may be very negative. Some even may be understanding Iran better than uh, the, the other parts. So I think uh, this needs to be taken into account. But I think uh, the dominance of American, let's say, mentality on Iran is what you mean. Uh, even in the United States, you may have diversity of views, but on the uh, level of officialdom, you see this uh, negativity, negativity. Of course, the second uh, reason is uh, policies uh, that the uh, United States pursue and uh, we oppose and we oppose uh, some of uh, major issues like uh, what's happening in the Middle East, what has been happening not just recently. I think there is a very important third uh, factor and that is what I call fear industry uh, or what we call Iranophobia in the larger escape of uh, landscape of Islamophobia or Shiaphobia. Uh, there is a, a fear industry working which makes money living and uh, social positioning uh, by injecting fear of, let's say, uh, non-white, non, uh, let's say, uh, Anglo-Saxon and so on and so forth. There is a great concern about what appears to be the growing schism between Sunni and Shia Islam. And it's no secret, it's quite obvious, is it not? Shia-Sunni issue has been a theological issue. And uh, I think on theological level, on this, let's say, uh, the theological side, there, there had been and there should not be any type of let's say division which is also killing and sectarian tendencies. The second point is how different uh, uh, differences, uh, how th these differences are manipulated and uh, narrated uh, in and packaged in a way uh, which serves, uh, you know, the uh, strategic interests of different players. Uh, how do you see Iran's relations with the uh, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as he gains more power? You know, uh, on a state level, you don't deal with individuals. We are dealing with uh, uh, nation states. You know, a nation state cannot be reduced to personalities. So, in relationship, uh, you have to look at uh, on the state level. Uh, I think uh, uh, on a state level, there are many factors, elements on this bilateral relationship. Uh, but uh, I think. Uh, uh, domestically, uh, what uh, you you are asking on, on this personality, uh, there is a time of transition inside Saudi Arabia, and the challenges are, are great and impacting also the, the, the foreign policy of that country. Iran is accused of fighting proxy wars. You and Saudi Arabia are engaged in a proxy war in Yemen. Why? We are not part of the war, and actually we have not invaded there. We, there is no way even to support that country militarily because of the tight uh, sanctions system and uh, blockade that's there. And our sympathy, of course, with these people, oppressed people, which are under continuous bombing, and I think the world should be really thinking of uh, ending this war, it shouldn't be an, let's say, an isolated issue. It should not be ignored. Uh, and I think it should not be looked as a proxy. It is war by one of the neighbors of this country invading it. And I think uh, the result is clear and there is need for a collective international mobilization to end. And don't use Iran as a scapegoat. Syed Kazem Sajadpur, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs>